what's going on everybody it's your boy ace here back with another props video man we'll go ahead and get right into the recap from two days ago because yesterday well technically today it's 11 56 as you can see so it's september 1st speaking of september 1st i didn't have any props out today took the day off so i uh, just didn't have any props today so the recap is going to be from two days ago it's only two props that we had two days ago so it's going to be a very quick recap and then we'll get into the plays for today and then i also have some very very exciting news about um, the Rocket League World Championship, which is coming up already in like nine days or ten days. I believe it's the 10th, so actually eight days from today because, excuse me, it's already about to be the second. So eight days from today is the Rocket League World Championship, so I have some very, very exciting news, which I'll get into very shortly because this recap should not be taking that long at all because it's only two props. So let's get into the recap very, very quickly. So two days ago, we had Shane Baz under four and a half strikeouts for half a unit. And the write-ups right there, you can see the write-up. And then we also had Scooball, seven plus strikeouts for half a unit as well. So we only had two props, only bet one unit on the day, very, very light day. Um, and if you read this message, I think you guys can see how this went. Um, I said this as like a joke because recently this past week, the under strikeout props, they've been such bullshit. Like they've been chalking in such bullshit ways. So I would just like put that as a joke and um, happened again. So... He ended with five strikeouts, right? So I woke up pretty late. This was, I think, I believe this was a morning game. So I woke up late and I and I went to go check, you know, real the app that shows me like how like sports stuff, right? Box scores and play by play. So I checked the app and I saw he had five strikeouts. I was like, damn, that's tough. And then I went to go see the strikeouts and I saw two of them were strikeouts looking. And I was like, bro, please tell me it wasn't because this bullshit ump. But of course, bro, it was this bullshit ump. So. Uh, kind of hard to see real makes the pitches like closer like a tiny bit closer than what they actually are But as you can see number four, that's not a strike at all like literally not a strike at all I don't think I have to zoom in for you guys to see that but I will even even though you guys can see that is not a strike At all, but they called it a strike and then this one was not a strike either But they called it a strike it, it is a it, it um it looks a little bit closer than what it actually was But even even then it wasn't a strike at all as you can see um Two was pretty close too, but four was obviously not a strike, and they called both of those strikeouts. So those were two strikeouts that should not have been strikeouts, and he hooked the under. He had exactly five, so that's like that's a prop that we should have hit, but it ended up not hitting. So that's super unfortunate. Just bullshit, you know. Like like those are just annoying because the read was there, and, and it's just like stuff you can't control. It just chalked it, but Scooball ended up catching. So we only lost point one seven units. So I mean. It is what it is. We should have had a profitable little mini 2-0 and sweep, but bullshit like that happens all the time. That's sports betting, right? So it is what it is, but just in case anybody was like, oh, that was a terrible read. Like, nah, bro. It's a fucking ump. Anyway, let's get into the exciting Rocket League World Championship news, and then I got two props for you guys. So let's get into the news. Without further ado, bro, uh, if I could find the pop-up. Jesus, where is the pop-up? Uh, it's not. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So if you guys have joined... My server and join for the rocket league props in the past what i've done in the past was that i used to have premium like 20 to 25 dollars a month and then i used to have rocket league an additional membership right so it's kind of like a deluxe membership because it's my best sport by far i don't know if you got you guys might might even be asking like what's rocket league rocket league is my best hit rate sport by far um i have a way better hit rate on rocket league than than nba nfl and mlb so Rocket League has always been my number one sport and it's on prize picks as well. So it's like it's not like it's alt lines or anything like that, you know? It's it's just straight up unjuiced prize picks props. So it's always been my number one hit rate by far. So what I used to do is that they used to have it every single weekend during the season, because right now the season's about to end. So during the season they had Rocket League every single weekend. So what I used to do was I used to charge twenty five dollars a month for premium and then I used to charge sixty dollars or fifty dollars a month for premium. It had premium but it also included Rocket League props. So it was like an additional $30 charge just for just to get my Rocket League props, which I know it sounds like a lot, but we used to be hitting like 70 and 80% on like 10 plus props a day. So we made a ton of money. We've made, uh, we've had people profit like 100 units in a month just from Rocket League, uh, the regular season, not even a major. So what this is, is it's the World Championship. So it's the last event of the season for Rocket League. This will be the last event of 2024 for Rocket League. The next season will probably be in like March or February next year. So this is the last event of Rocket League of the whole season. Last year, let me go ahead and pull up my Discord channel on my second monitor real quick. I believe I have my hit rate for Worlds in last year. 
Um, last year we made a lot of money during Worlds. The first day of Worlds, we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, eleven and five. So the first day of Worlds, we went eleven and five, and then the last day of Worlds, we went twenty-two and five. So let me go ahead and pull this up real quick on my second on my main monitor now. Um, this was last year. This was just the last day. So this was just a, a singular day of Rocket League last year of the championship. This was August 13, 2023. Last year's last day of Rocket League World Championship, we went 22 and 5. So this was an amazing day to end the Rocket League World Championship. But this was just one singular day. This is just a glimpse of what um, hopefully happens again this year. Um, so yeah, we made a ton of money last year during Worlds. We made a ton of money of during Rocket League this season in general. So the thing is that Worlds is like a major, so they have a bunch of teams from different countries go to the same event. And there's way more money to be made during these events because based on like how how good certain teams are from certain countries and how bad other teams are from other countries, normally they never play each other, right? Because they play on different countries. Obviously, like some team would lag if they do a certain server, but once they get all together, you get these international matchups that you've never seen online. You only see them on LAN. So... Um, with this being a LAN event, there's uh, we usually typically I have a better hit rate on these LAN events because they're just way easier to predict. They're way easier to, you know, there are a bunch of advantageous spots because there are teams that are like just in totally different tiers than one another that to play each other, and it's just very very easy to pick props out on these uh, matchups that I'm talking about. So during the whole season, we've only had two lands. This will be the third and last land of the season. We've only had two lands this year. And if if you count up my hit rate in both of those lands that we had this year, it counts up, adds up to a 76% hit rate on lands this year. 61 and 19 on prize picks props on land this year. 76% hit rate on land this year. And Worlds is typically better than the other lands. So with that being said, you get access to all of my Rocket League World Championship props, which are all going to be on prize picks. And then also this event, I will also be doing money lines and spreads, which is on like Bovada, Thunderpick, Bet365, those sports books. So if you have access to any of those sports book, uh, any of those sports books that have Rocket League money lines, I highly suggest that you you take advantage of this offer because just last week there was a Rocket League event that was not RLCS. It was like um, somebody else held it, but it had a bunch of the RLCS uh, had a bunch of the Rocket League teams. We went up 12 units just on money lines and spreads. So imagine what we're going to be doing. This is like five or six days, and this is Worlds. This is an actual event. So um, I'm hoping to make at least like 10 plus units just this, just during Worlds, which is like a six day event. So, um, but basically, I'm making this super cheap for you guys. So usually, premium is $20 a month, right? Premium is $20 a month. And I used to have like a $30 additional charge just for Rocket League just for a LAN. Well, this time, one and only time since it's the last event of the season, I'm going I'm to be making it super, super cheap. So it's only going to be a $30 one-time fee. But here's the kicker, though. Here's the additional thing that you guys get. You guys also will get a month of premium. So not only will you get the six days of Rocket League World Championship props and my money lines and my spreads and all that, which we have a 76% hit rate on lands this year, you will not only get that, but you'll also get a month of premium included. So a month of premium is already $20, right? That's a $20 value right there. So you're basically getting premium and you are getting uh, all of my Rocket League World Championship props, which is September 10th to September 16th. And that usually is like $30 to $40. I'm only making an additional $10. So you're getting premium for 30 days and you're getting the Rocket League World Championship props as well and at only a cost of ten dollars so take advantage of this offer i have this offer right now i can't like i know i know i told you guys to join through the wop but i can't like put this offer on wop and then like it's kind of weird i can't put this offer on wop um and make it like a thirty dollar one-time thing and then give you it's kind of weird like wop doesn't let you do that shit so uh basically i'm for this for this offer right here just just join via the way that we used to run, do it back in the day, the classic, where you just DM me on Discord, and then I add you in. I've already had a few people cop this membership. I just released it today in the Discord. So if you guys are interested in this offer and do want to join off through this deal, make sure you guys join the Discord. The link of the Discord will be in the description of this video. Make sure you guys DM me. Go to general chat. Verify yourself to so, you, so we know that you're not a bot or whatever. Go to general right here. Click my profile right here. And go ahead and DM me and be like, yo, I want to join the world's deal or whatever. And we'll get you in. I've already had a few people join. 
and we already have props out for it we already have some money lines out for it so take advantage of that deal i know that was a lot of yapping but uh, i gotta explain it in detail because i know there are a lot of people that do not know what rocket league is at all so it's kind of like um kind of a new thing for them so i have to explain it in detail um but yeah very very good deal take advantage of this deal if you have been interested in joining premium um Take advantage of this deal because you're also going to get the Rocket League props, and we have been killing Rocket League all year. Last event of the year, so hopefully we end it with a bang. But anyway, I got two props for you guys. I'm going to make these very quick because uh, I've already taken up a lot of your time. The first prop I already posted on Twitter a few hours ago, so I posted this at 6.41 p.m. Actually, a lot of hours ago. Jesus. So that was like five and a half hours ago almost from the time I'm recording this video. Eduardo Rodriguez under four and a half strikeouts. This line has already moved a bit. It'll probably move even more because right now it's minus 130 on FanDuel, but it's minus 145 on DraftKings. So it'll probably move up to that minus 145 spot. And we posted it at minus 126 in the Discord and on Twitter. So if you're not in the Discord, follow my Twitter right here. Turn on post notifications. If you're not in the Discord, but what are you doing, bro? Join the Discord. And if you... Uh, $10 off your first month with the WAB deal, or you can join this deal, which is both deals are absolutely amazing. Or you can get both, to be honest. Like if you if you join through WAP and get use the code first fifty for fifty percent off your first month, um, then you get fifty percent off your first month, right? So it's only ten dollars for your first month. If you join through WAP and then DM me and be like, yo, I wanna get the worlds as well and get the extra month, then I'll give you the extra month added on to your uh month that you already have. So I'm down to do that as well. So yeah, but anyway, the write-ups right here, I've already taken up a lot of your time, so I'm not going to uh, go talk about the write-up in detail because it's right here, so you could pause your video and just read the write-up right there. That's the reasoning that I'm going with for taking this prop. You can pause the video, read the write-up, and be like, oh, I agree with that, or no, I don't really agree with it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the first prop. Eduardo Rodriguez, under 4.5 strikeouts, minus 126 odds. And then the second prop, the last prop of the video, I know taking up a lot of your time, is going to be Yankees money line. So get let's get into this prop very quickly. This is going to be a juiced prop, so it's not a, not a straight. You'd have to pair it with another one of my props in the Discord or one of your own props. But Yankees money line. So right now, I believe it's minus 196 on DraftKings. Um, so let's look at that prop very, very quickly. Minus 192 on DraftKings. I believe FanDuel has worse odds. Uh, no, they actually don't. So minus 184 on FanDuel. So Yankees are starting right-handed pitcher Garrett Cole, who's at a 3.86 ERA this season. He's been injured for most of the year, so it took him a while to readjust back to you know the major league level. So that's why his ERA is higher than it typically is. He kind of struggled when he first came back off of the injury. And you know that makes sense. A lot of pitchers after having an injury coming back, it takes time for them to readjust to the to the league. So he struggled early on coming back from that injury, but as of late, he's been very, very good. He's pitched very well uh, recently. Um, he's only allowed three runs in his last three games. Those games were against Washington, Cleveland, and Detroit, but he's only allowed three runs in his last three games combined. So he's been very, very good as of late. That season ERA is a bit misleading because most of those games were, you know, just coming back off of injury. It took him time to adjust, but recently he's been very, very good. So that's very good to hear. Obviously, as we're taking the Yankees money line, he's going to be pitching for the Yankees. He's also getting a very good matchup here. He's facing the Rangers, who have the sixth lowest OBP, the eighth lowest WRC, and the ninth lowest slugging versus right-handed pitchers in August. So they're all all three of those key key statistics to you know scoring. They're bottom ten in all three of them. So very very advantageous matchup for Cole to continue his streak of solid play that he's had as of late. And then on the other side of the mound, the Rangers are going to be starting right-handed pitcher. I believe his first name is Jack Jack Leader, who has a 12.83 ERA this year. With um, we go ahead and pull it up. 12.83 ERA this year with an expected ERA of 7.65. So as you can see, there 12.83 ERA expected ERA of 7.65 right here. And you guys already know the Yankees, they absolutely smash right-handed pitchers. They have been a bit worse than they usually are as of late. But even then, at that worst state that they are, they're still above average because they're just a really good team. But this is a perfect matchup for the Yankees to go back to what uh, their usual ways of running up the score on right-handed pitchers because this pitcher has just been terrible, Jack Leader. That ERA is absolutely disgusting and um, is a prospect for them. So, you know, he's not, he probably, he's not MLB ready, clearly. Um, he's been very, very bad this year, so Yankees should absolutely destroy him. Uh, he, The pitcher himself, Jack Leader, he's allowing a 412 batting average against left-handed batters. You heard that correctly. 
a 412 batting average versus left-handed batters, and he's allowing a 323 batting average versus right-handed batters. So he's been absolutely terrible, as you can see by the ERA numbers. This is just a perfect line for the Yankees to, you know, not allow many runs against a tough and against a bad opponent in the Rangers, and then run up runs themselves against a really, really bad pitcher. So I'm loving the Yankees money line for half a unit. And those are going to be the two props for the video. I have way more props in the Discord. So if you guys are not in the Discord, make sure you guys join the Discord. You can get 50% off your first month on WAP. The link of the WAP will be in the description of this video. Use code FIRST50 at checkout. You'll get 50% off your first month, only $10 for your first month. That's like 30 or 33 cents a day. And then we also are running this deal for Rocket League World Championship props, which the RLCS World starts in eight days. So take advantage of this offer. Join quick. And if you want to do, like I said, if you want to get your first month ten, only $10 through this, and then once you join, you want to get this as well and get an extra month because this comes with an extra month. So if you want to do that and get an extra month as well and the Rocket League World Championship props for $30. So basically, all together, you'd be getting two months of premium and the World Championship props for only $40 if you do that method. That's 100% fine with me as well. Just hit me up on Discord and tell me you guys want to do that. But anyway, I'll catch you on the next video. Hopefully, we have a good day today. I have a lot of props in the Discord, so make sure you guys join the Discord to get that early value. Catch you on the next video. Peace.